hello uh, today I will just show you a short tutorial of uh, how you can read uh, specific uh, fields from a CSV to Python uh, Pandas data frame and uh, uh, then uh, maybe do some processing on top of that Panda frame and then uh, dump it into influx uh, DB database uh, while dumping into the database you may obviously want to have some tags I mean some columns of, uh, of the data frame uh, to be uh, added as tag in the database plus in addition to those columns you may have some uh, some specific or fixed uh, tags so uh, uh, to show you this thing I uh, prepared a quick CSV file uh, called sample so sample.csv so uh, this has got uh, timestamp school class students teachers and absent so uh, timestamp is obviously your date time field uh, and school is your school name and uh, class is a mix of strings and uh, uh, numbers uh, but overall this will be treated as an object in uh, data frames uh, students is the count of number of students in the class and teachers is like uh, how many teachers are kind of, uh, assigned to that class yeah. and absent is like how many students are absent uh, on this particular day okay so at the time of uh, uh, data uh, insertion I want to drop off a couple of fields uh, so I just want to like have some specific fields so I have defined uh, those fields as uh, uh, these, these fields which I'll read from uh, the CSV and only these fields will be like uh, read from the CSV and dumped into the database uh, so here goes the simple code uh, okay, we have a reported pandas due uh, JSON. Uh, JSON, I think, is not is, is not required. You can you can ignore it. And then uh, influx TB uh, data frame client database uh, parameters database uh, host port username password database name protocol with which you want to insert the data. Uh, protocol when you have choices of JSON and line. So line is like faster protocol. It works very well. So again, fields which by which we'll pick from the CSV. We have dropped teachers field here. If you see the CSV, we have dropped the teachers field in uh, at the time of reading. And uh, in data tags, uh, we'll tag uh, school and class uh, in the database. And these are the fixed uh, tags uh, which will apply to uh, kind of every row. Okay. And that's how we read the data. Uh, we uh, are passing uh, the path of CSV. Separator is comma. This is optional. By default, it's actually comma, so that's fine. And if you're you using something else other than comma, then you have to specify that uh, separator. Uh, I'm not indexing this uh, 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 data frame at the time of uh, preparing the data frame, uh, uh, and because I want to use uh, timestamp as uh, as as. Uh, uh, as the index which first I am parsing as states uh, as a time field and uh, and here I mean obviously the fields which we want to, we want to pick are here and then uh, after this line I mean after this uh, thing we are uh, setting timestamp as index uh, by virtue of this line I mean as to be specific this uh, thing uh, the timestamp gets converted into date time object. If you directly uh, take this as index, it won't be as uh, it won't be presented as date time object. And the time at the time uh, when when you insert the data influx uh, into influx TV data frame into influx TV, you have to make sure that the that your index uh, uh, has to be of date time time. Okay, otherwise your uh, insertion will fail. Okay, so anyway, so here just uh, doing a quick print uh, of the uh, data frame items which are read from CSV and then here uh, preparing uh, the client, uh, our data frame client with the parameters of database which we have prepared above and finally uh, writing them into uh, the data uh, database. The school data would be our uh, measurement 
and school TV is, is our database and tags uh, these are the fix, fixed tags which we have defined uh, over here yeah and uh, data tags I mean is a list which we have defined over here so this is this list is basically subset uh, of uh, the fields okay and the protocol is obviously the nine line protocol which we have defined over here so now let me quickly execute the code um, so this has printed the output because we are printing the dot head here. Now let's go to the database and see that the items are inserted at all. So let me go to the database test one two three. use okay first let's test the database. Show databases use db. Our measurement is school data. School, uh, school data. Sorry, school data. So here we have got the data. Now let's see the tags. So that's the that's the key kind of objective of this uh, uh, tutorial. So show tag is okay. So here we can see that uh, city, uh, country, and state. These are like fixed tags. Okay, coming out of. Uh, this uh, JSON definition and uh, class and school are the tags which we have like pulled from the data frame fields to data frame fields. So that's uh, pretty much. Thank you.